as a UIUF designer as well as digital artist doing both made like a good um, money for my head during COVID. But then AI came along and I was like, AI can basically make the digital art that it takes me hours. So it, I am on a losing end of the... So second year you started to code. Then when did you get your placement? So my placement was around like, what's your plan for the future now? Uh so hi everyone, in this video we have Harshil. You might remember Harshil from the meetup. I am doing great, but my only struggle is that I work at home, so meeting smarter people is something that I am struggling with. I get to meet all of the DS. You have a very good problem, right? That there is a lot of money, there is a remote job. Yes. It's a feeling of single-single on Friday. No, I mean... Today we'll be covering his journey of how he got a remote job, why he's so single in life and wanting to co-work from time to time. What was his initial journey, uh, his college learning framework, all that jazz, without any further ado. Harshil, can you give us a brief introduction about yourself? Alright, so hi everyone uh, watching. Uh, my name is Harshil. I'm just like freshly passed out from MSIT Delhi. And I'm currently working as a remote ST intern at High Five, which is a, which is a US-based startup. Uh, working into tipping management systems and my tech stack is mostly Next.js, AWS, writing test cases and pretty much all over the place. Got it. You said MSIT, is it? This is a different from NSIT, right? Could you give nah, a brief about your college and everything? Uh, NSIT is like very really good college, mine is uh, tier 2, 2.5 kind of thing. Like uh, so anyone from Delhi would recognize uh, IP University, so it's a college of that only. Um, I would not credit like my success to my college. It's mostly been like personal studies and YouTube only. So, but uh, overall, good bunch of friends I made over there. Uh, it's like more like the college was not good, but the peers that I gained uh, was very smart, ambitious one. So that helped me very much. Got yeah. it. Let's start from the top. Uh, when did you start to code? So, my coding path was not like. <clears throat> very sida sida. Uh, it is a journey. Uh, I will make it quick and brief. So basically, when I was getting into college, I was like, I don't want to get into the matrix kind of uh, any mindset. I want to do my business. So I got into freelancing. I was good at digital art. I I used to run an Instagram page as hard draws, making digital art, and then I got into freelance uh, as a UIUX designer as well as digital artist. Doing both made like a good um, money for my age during COVID. It was doing well, but then uh, there were two blockers. Firstly, was ki AI came along and I was like, AI can basically make the digital art that it takes me hours. So it, I am on a losing end of the battle, right? And okay. plus with the UIUX also, I could not find myself intrigued by anything because the projects were becoming uh, repetitive to some scale. So yes. then I pivoted to coding because I was always a builder. I wanted to build stuff. So. I was like, okay, I know UIUX, let's code the UIUX art. <coughs> so Which year was this? Second year, uh, end of second year. I was actually late to coding, but heavily got coded. It. That was something. So got into done the HTML, CSS, JS from YouTube mostly. Then I got into React learning from uh, your channel, Chair Code. Uh, a couple of your uh, videos are good. Namaste React and pretty much all over the place, just learning, grinding stuff Very out. And after that, I learned into, got into backend, so got done with the whole full stack. And this was around like, uh, when my on-campus new gen placement had happened, so slightly before that. And just as it kept making codes, kept running codes, uh, make, get active onto Twitter. And uh, I was fairly active. Got it. So second year you started to code. Then when did you get your placement, your on-campus placement? So my placement was around like October of uh, last year. It was in uh, Newton and Accenture. But Accenture is like it will call very late. So there's no point of uh, depending on it. Newton mm -hmm. happened. Newton was overall good. Uh, it started actually in this year's January. Uh, it was mostly working on Java, Eclipse. But the problem was I personally I have like, I don't want to code in Java. I know this is a very heavy statement because Java legacy tech stack. Hai, but uh, they were working with Java 13 and right now it's kafi purana hai. So I was like, I, I need to switch and I can't work with like these old folks like Jo Team Team 5, 5 years. So I, I just had this thoda sa issue, my quality it. goistic. So I started heavily uh, coding 
एंड हाँ तो एनी वन स्ट्रगल्स विद लाइक अप्लाइंग एंड एवरी थिंग उसको मैं बताना चाहता हूँ ड्यूरिंग द न्यूज एंड फेस वट आई वुड डू इज सो माई ऑफिस वुड बी अराउंड टेन आई वुड वेक अप अराउंड सिक्स कोर्ट टेल एट एट एंड हाफ और सॉरी एट थर्टी और गेट डन विद एट फिर वेन आई वुड बी गोइंग टू माई ऑफिस वाई मेट्रो आई वुड स्पेंड दैट टाइम इन स्टेड ऑफ लिस्टिंग टू रैंडम स्टफ और इंस्टाग्राम जस्ट डूइंग लिंक इन ईजी अप्लाई और वट एव काइंड ऑफ अप्लाई गो टू ऑफिस इफ आई हैड सम वर्क गेट द वर्क डन अगर थोड़ा सा भी आई वुड गेट टाइम वॉच सम लेक्चर समथिंग लाइक काफ का बेसिक्स और एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ लेक्चर आई कुड वॉच एक्चुअली वॉच ऑल ऑफ योर नेक्स्ट जेस लेक्चर्स इन माई ऑफिस ओनली एंड वेन आई वुड सो वेन आई वुड गेट फ्री फ्राम ऑफिस सो अब ये दिस इज समथिंग I had two options कि एक तो मतलब हर वेरी स्मॉल एट ऑफ पॉइंट कि आई वुड गेटिंग स्टाइप एंड एंड यूज एंड अराउंड ट्वेंटी के तो मेरा था कि आई नीड टू स्विच वॉज माई फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी सो आई हैड ऑप्शन कि भाई छः बजे तक रुक के बस लो बट आई वुड लीव एट फाइव बाई ओला बाइक तो आई कुड सेव डैट वन आवर और उस पर भी मैं बाइक में पीछे बैठ के आई वुड कीप अप्लाइंग कीप अप्लाइंग सेंडिंग मैसेजेस फॉर रेफर रेफरेंस रीच ऑन टेक अ ब्रेक दिन कोट टिल इलेवन और समथिंग लाइक दैट सो दैट वॉज अ होल टोटल ग्रैंड फेस पिक्स पैट सिक्स वाला पूरा फाइज सो ऑन अ डेली बेसिस आई वुड अप्लाई टू अ गुड फिफ्टी सिक्सटी कंपनीज एंड दिस वॉज फॉर लाइक अ गुड थ्री फोर मंथ्स जस्ट लाइक हेड्स डाउन टोटली ग्राइंडिंग कॉरेक्ट सो हियर इज द टाइम एंड अंडरस्टैंड सेकेंड ईयर यू स्टार्ट टू कोड थर्ड ईयर एंड यू गॉट योर फुल टाइम ऑफर इंटर्नशिप ऑफर एट न्यूज एन एंड देन जैन लास्ट योर लास्ट सेमेस्टर यू स्टार्ट टू वर्क एट न्यूज एन एज एन इंटर्न आई वुड एज्यूम ये and while you were interning there even though it was an on site intern that paid you rupees 20000 only you f- you know somehow figured out a way to learn before after applied a lot and you were grinding for around 3 4 months when you were working at newgen and also learning and also applying together yep yep great so now tell me the set of remote offers that you have gotten since uh, and are you still working at newgen or did you leave newgen finally um so i left newgen uh, close to end of april okay so just a side note it's a very fucking sorry good feeling to 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 like leave some a place because like at the end aap sab se aap milate ho ki uh, i'm going like permanently going tell everyone ki ha bhai you are, i have a remote job and even just congratulate you like that moment is totally worth it sab se aap milane and everyone is just looking at you so that is totally worth it so i left it ha ah, is this so sorry sorry to interject but is this like a feeling of hari iska matlab you know everyone's happy for you okay chup chup kare ye yahan se nikla and you know he found something better is everyone just frustrated in in that office i don't know tell me um some people genuinely enjoy working there but it's like a couple of people they want to switch but they uh, have been in the same company for a, such a long time that they have become so lethargic that they want to switch but they are not like some so they are just stuck in this cycle of life that they are not able to switch kind of thing got it got it makes uh, sense very cool continue uh so uh to work for on linkedin only just teaching out to people and uh-huh. uh linkedin easy apply or apply in any way through their url or anything uh one was for a gurgaon based company uh working as a product engineer basically another name for sd working into back end and front end for next js and everything uh another one was for a totally remote within india i think it was a bangalore based company uh, working uh in crypto so they wanted a mon stack developer so i had both these offer and the third one was actually via twitter i was like fairly active on twitter just posting what i was building so the c2 reached out ki hey yeah, i saw your profile and everything so i had like three rounds of interviews and then got the offer and funny Correct. thing is ki uh, these remote and gurgaon offer came close to my birthday on april 20 and these both came to on the april 19 So I had Order. a good birthday. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sounds great. Amazing. Yeah. So, which one of these are you finally joining? So I'm. I have joined the remote one as a SWE uh, software engineer intern. Got um, it. And the Gurkhaon one, uh, I I would be. I'm probably be uh, doing a side kind of freelance kind of small gig kind of thing, but will leave it totally uh, by end of this month. Got it. Makes sense. So you had a few offers. You sort of pick and choose between some of them, maybe more lighted a little bit, and then finally you're d- deciding to go with the SF company. Yep. All right. So this company is uh, founders are from the US or? Ah, uh, they they are native. I uh, mean, they live in US, but like they, how to explain? I mean, they 
Indian origin. Uh, Indian, Indian only. But like when their parents migrated two years, so they are like the descendant generations. Born Got in it. US. First generation immigrants makes sense. Ah, uh, first generation. Um, and what was your interview like? You said that you had three interviews here. Could you elaborate on what did they ask? So the first round was basically sort of a screening round. Like just he wanted to get about to know about me, what I have worked on, what are my projects, and all those kind of stuff. Showing him my projects and everything. Uh, one good thing that I had done was like I had uh, worked with a team of five six people in college building a attendance yeah. management system, uh, which is like live for the college managing close to three thousand students. So that adds to a proof of work. Ki you have worked on a real world uh, application, so that added credibility. Uh, first round went in the same way, so he was fairly impressed. The next round was actually they did not ask for uh, DSA. It was co- solely on development skill that you can actually build stuff. So second round was all next years. They wanted me to build a mailing system. Basically, I enter Hershey and the email. It sends a email to that person. So I uh, used Node Miller build the system. Uh, some core features were left. After that, uh, he asked me some uh, stuff like. Okay, how would you structure the database and everything? Or let's say you want to build a unsubscribe from this email mail letter system. So I mm-hmm. gave him the logic. It was I. I one thing I did was that I made it into a post request, and he explained to me that it should be a get request, which should trigger the uh, web hook or whatever way you want to integrate it. So oh, that round went fine. After that, it was a final interview round. Which was actually a two round thing. It was a system design kind of thing where we talked all over the places about. Okay, let's say you want to build a tipping management system. How are you gonna build? What will be the QR or whatever? How are you gonna integrate? Let's say you have images. So how are you? We gonna keep those images, and how will you uh, better the runtime and everything? So one good thing that I had done during that interview is that in the previous <laughs> interview he had asked me to build the unsubscribe feature. I uh-huh. actually built it out, and I did not deploy it, but I had integrated the database and everything, and I even showed him in that interview, uh, in the node mail, like that mail is being sent and everything. So uh-huh. that like it is like going one step ahead to show that you have a competency that you want to get things done, and right. that interview went good as well. Uh, finally, it was basically a cultural fit round, just talking to the founders and everything about. Uh, unki company ka kya what are my views and how do I want to work? And uh, even in those rounds, so one thing I can say is ki uh, don't be stiff. Like unka th- uh, they they wanted they were like ki oh you can work in your time. Uh, we don't want to put pressure on you. But I I kind of emphasize no. I'm op- actually open to work in your time. And honestly, even like right now, if they pass on some work to me and I, I ask them ki hey I'm basically free on Saturday Sunday. So if you have some kind of ad hoc or small task. And then I can flip them up uh, on weekend as well. So that's how you show that you actually want to be a part of that ecosystem. Makes a lot of sense. How big is the team now? It's fairly lean. I think it's a ten people team. Got it. Uh, fairly lean uh, because it's basically B two B. So just like uh, a good one tech team is like two to three people, and uh-huh. the other team is basically like uh, going yeah. to the. Uh, hotel management systems, getting into events and everything. Got it. Got it. Makes sense. To summarize, you said three to four interviews. First interview yeah. was just ad hoc, getting to know your projects. Second interview was making you actually code the Node Mailer, subscribe yeah. unsubscribe system. Third interview was system design. Most probably system design was okay. This is our app. How would you build the same app and you know the same set of challenges that they are facing? Cool. And then a behavioral interview just to make sure you know, you're a good cultural fit. Clean. Cool. Yep. That, that sounds right. Uh, cool. So. What's your plan for the future now? Are you planning to continue here for how long as an intern, and then when do you convert to full time? Um, it's gonna close in at uh, at the end of August. They are gonna roll out a full time offer. Then I'm gonna be finally working full time with them. And as for my plans, uh, right now I just like want to learn stuff. Honestly, just like abhi, uh, I am done with like next years. Uh, mala is maybe even uh, working at the startup. My learning has been like. I started with frontend, then learned then, AWS DynamoDB S3. Then I wrote playwright test cases for UI testing. Right now, I'm building microservices for Discord and everything. Uh, I also started learning Kafka to integrate those microservices. So just keep learning. And then I, I keep reading around stuff. How uh, like uh, something I'm integrating like building scalable systems. Abito, I'm reading that book, Clean Code. But mm-hmm. my interest is in like 
being like cracked basically in uh, to summarize in a sing- single word aur uske alawa to i think i want to like start building some micro products of my own or probably get like reviewed by uh, you know peer list right or uh, peep product hunt or something wo people no. push out their products they give us and everything so do something like that sounds amazing cool man that's great that's all the questions i had do you have any questions for me uh nahi maine iske bare mein nahi socha cool all right you got it this is great thank you so much for sharing everything and if anyone oh, wants to get matlab ya go ahead ha matlab jaise aap se i i have actually the same question ki i'm done with mon i am done with building basic apis mini microservices but like what next गुड क्वेश्चन मोहन तुम्हारा जाओ स्क्रिप्ट में टाइप स्क्रिप्ट में है वहाँ पे जी सॉरी टी एस टी एस मतलब ठीक है एज मॉडर्न एज अ गेट्स हो रखा है मतलब यू आर ऑलरेडी यू विल ऑलरेडी लर्न इनफ यू हैव अ मोनो रिपो यूर यूर ऑनिंग द डिप्लॉयमेंट पाइप लाइन देर इज सी आई सी डी हाँ वी हैव नॉट हैंडल आई थिंक मोनो रिपो पार्ट ये वाला शायद वो कह देंगे कि दिस इज द टेक पार्ट आप बता नहीं सकते got it got it makes sense matlab basically try to you know make this code base as modern as possible when it comes to the mon stack if you think you have exhausted the mon stack up to sabhi aa gaya then you can do one of two things either negotiate higher over here if you're you know owning everything or you know freelance find other companies this is what i would do basically you know if you think they have a certain paying capacity then you know if i have the right skills now i should probably you know horizontally expand um, or if you feel like any i want to you know uh, just get better at some tech then you know there are niche techs to explore yeah web3 you know this is the company that you're working at is you know b2b which you know these companies will stay almost forever i think b2b saas so or b2b you know whatever you're building uh, is going to stay alive and you know something that won't get killed by ai for a long time because you know b2b is very boring hotels yeah. are very boring so you know they yeah. always stick to companies like these um, so yeah. one thing is keep this second thing is for your learning i would you know yeah start learning whatever interests you so at this point you know you have an open field you said you don't like java you hate it so you know another language like rust if you want to go into web3 other language like python if you want to go into ai these are one of two paths i would take if i was you king uh, i have started learning a, a small basics of python uh because i think they acquired some product uh, it is in python so i'm learning python side by side taki nice. whenever you have to integrate it just get some there yeah. idea of it that sounds like the right plan yeah pf yeah. All right. Anything else? No, nothing from my side. Why? Hey, yes. why? It was great talking to you. Uh, stay in touch if you have any anything. Let me know. Good. And yeah, thank you for joining. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.